That's one of the newest products. So that, that is, is your, um, that's a huge one. That's our industrial ejector. Wow. And that's basically when we have the ejector that we just saw on, on the food retail side, that was a small block of aluminum and it had six ejectors yeah. inside. Yeah. This is basically one of those six ejectors. Okay, so, so we, we're just talking about the retail space, we're talking about supermarket, but CO2 is not only in that space. Yeah. We all also see it in the industrial space and Danfoss is real big in the industrial side. Why don't yeah. we talk about some of the stuff they have for CO2? CO2 is moving every, everywhere. So it's, it's going into smaller systems and bigger systems. And yeah. it took some time uh, because in, in the huge industrial systems, ammonia is still the biggest one out there. Yeah. And that will stay yeah. because it's a wonderful uh, it's a great refrigerant. refrigerant. And so that we, we need that. Yeah. But it is, CO2 is taking some part of that lower uh, industrial uh, segment, let's yeah. say. Um, and we have worked quite hard to have um, a lot of uh, industrial uh, products just raising the pressure, basically, because yep. we had a huge industrial um, system already, yep. but now we had to take it into CO2. That yep. means raising the pressures. Uh, okay. And we have quite a lot of systems. As you can see here, we have quite a lot of um, products uh, over here. So we have um, our safety valves, of course, for, for higher pressures. We have some surface valves, the small one over here, that's a level sensor, that's yep. your LLS 4000, so that's something you can use on, on receivers or, or oil. Yep. Um, then to the right we have a filter, also higher okay, pressures. Yeah. Yeah. Critical, yeah. And it's all big stuff, right? Yeah. Well, normally you have the small copper lines, yeah, yeah. here we have the big, yeah. <laughs> the big steel stuff, yeah. so the heavy metal stuff, uh, literally. We have some stop valves. Yeah. Um, over there we have our, our uh, um, motor control wow, this, valve. This is that's, pretty heavy. Like I said, it's a big one. Yeah. All now suitable for, for higher pressure. So even in industrial refrigeration, we yeah. can now use very safely and nicely with, uh, with CO2. I can work out with this. Yeah, you can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's an expensive dumbbell, but still. Yeah. Yeah. And the one over there, I don't know if you can if move yeah. over, but um, here we have, and that's, in, uh, that's one of the newest products. So that, that is, is your, um, that's a huge one. That's our industrial ejector. Wow. And that's basically when we have the ejector that we just saw on, on the food retail side, that was a small block of aluminum and it had six ejectors yeah. inside. Yeah. This is basically one of those six ejectors. So it's only one. Um, and normally you will combine this and have two, three, four in parallel wow. next to each other. So you have, basically you create one big ejector. Okay, um, how big can you put these together? Like what size uh, can you go up to? Um, I, I think in kilowatts, we, we are going anywhere from one, two, three meg megawatts. Wow, So then megawatts. we're, then we're talking that? big systems here. <laughs> wow. so. That's very impressive. So it's a huge uh, pipe, it has a fixed geometry and it's open and closed by the, the solenoid on top, which of course, okay. again, is controlled by uh, one of our controllers. Yeah. So, so I, I do see it says prototype on there. Do you have any installed in the field right now? We, we are just doing the field tests at the okay. moment with some of the customers that are around here on yeah. this booth, not giving away any names, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, but no, you, if you look closely, you can find them somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but we are testing them at the moment and they will be available uh, quite soon, I guess. Awesome. Hey, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you got something out of it, something that you can use in your daily life. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell button because when you click the bell button, it will notify you anytime new videos are released. Also, check out the Refrigeration Mentor webpage at refrigerationmentor.com where I'll have all the different trainings, upcoming events, the different podcasts I've been on, as well as the Refrigeration Mentor podcast. If you want to check that out on Apple, Spotify, Google, any service provider of your choice. Super excited to see you at the next video. Now let's get a conversation going.